Good morning class, welcome to your grammar lesson for today. It is Thursday, which means that we are on day four of our grammar, so we're on that sentence. Okay, so let's get started. I hope you've had a chance already to give this sentence a try on your own, and now we get to take it up together. Okay, so we're gonna start with this clause right at the beginning, because we know that this is a little clause, because the path is the subject and curved is the verb. Because it starts with when, which is a clause starter, we know it's a dependent clause. All right, but here's the sneaky thing. He took is actually its own little clause inside, okay? Because it gets its own subject and verb. So we've got a bit of inception going on, so make sure that you have your clause inside your other clause, okay? And then within that clause, I just wanna label uh, sharply as an L-Y adverb. And this is a clausal sentence opening, remember? Which is our number five sentence opener. Because it starts like this, okay? So, we're gonna start our next clause here and it gets to be our main clause. And our subject is it, because we're still talking about the path. Okay, so that's our subject, and our verb is brought. Okay, so we're gonna end this clause here, because the comma helps give us a clue that that's the end of the clause, and that's our main clause. Okay, and this is just the hang off at the end, so it's not a clause all by itself, okay? It's just extra information. So, Let's look at this clause now, our main clause. So we have a preposition to, and then we have two adjectives. Broad, pebbly, stream. Okay, and these adjectives, broad, pebbly, because they can be switched around, so we can say pebbly, broad, stream, are coordinate adjectives, which means that we're gonna give them a comma, okay? So, just because this isn't a clause doesn't mean we're not gonna deal with it, because we also have a preposition down here with by, and then we have again two adjectives. Okay, so a narrow wooden bridge. Oh, and of course, a period, oh my goodness, and a capital at the beginning, this is Hudson. So, these adjectives, because we need the information that it is first narrow and second wooden, they are cumulative adjectives, so we're not going to put a comma here, okay? Because they're very specific, each of them. So, those are our corrections for today, and your definition is up here, spanned means to extend over, okay? So, extend it over and across. All right, so... Make sure that your sentence looks like that and remember that there's no indent because we're just continuing to learn about Robin Hood heading out, right? So the sentence before goes with this one. Okay, so in your rewrite, just continue it on and make sure you have everything that you need. And then you're all set, that's grammar for the week.